Hey everyone, Invader1 here. Before I get into it, let's talk about the build for our Broguard. For Biotic Charge, you're going to want to have Radius on it, guys. Trust me, this is the way to go. We uh, level 5, you're actually going to want Weapon Synergy, and I explain that to you later. And you're going to want Barrier on level 6 for your Biotic Charge on this guy. Skip Lash is not even necessary. For Blade Armor, you guys are going to want all the ones on the bottom. And I explained to you why this guy is a melee beast. Okay, and you're going to see this in this gameplay, Platinum gameplay, of course. And you're going to see how he just does a, a massive amounts of damage. For his training, damage and capacity, power damage, and at the end, you know, definitely go for damage and ammo. Uh, he has he has really good passives uh, where you can get a little bit more ammo on your gun. For his fitness, all melee synergy, guys. All martial artists, melee damage, and melee synergy, all the ones at the top. And um, you'll see why. You'll see why. Now, in regards to consumables, what I did with this guy is um, I'm bringing the Harrier on him because I, I on plan him, I like to have a little bit something of a long-range gun. Um, I do recommend uh, shotguns with them also, like the Wraith or the uh, the Raider. Uh, the Geth Plasma works really nice, too. Um, it's a little heavy on him, but, you know, the, uh, the other shotguns work actually quite well. Um... But anyways, guys, you know, uh, for his consumables, I actually use the Strength Enhancer 3 uh, for the gun. And I also use the um, the Juggernaut Shield uh, for his gear bonus, which actually gives him more melee damage and it strengthens his shield. And for the ammo, I just used uh, Warp Ammo for more weapon damage. And uh, I think... Oh, and, and um, for his... Ammo uh, for his armor bonuses. I chose power recharge because I definitely want his power recharge to be high. Now I'm gonna go into this gameplay, guys. Uh, first of all, before I even go into it, I'm sorry, guys. I have been out sick for the last few days, so most of the time by this time already, I already have about three videos out, and I wanted to do that. I have some more videos coming out for the hardcore series, and um, you know I'm just so sorry, guys. I took a trip. Uh, to see a friend of mine in Louisiana, and then I don't know what happened down there, down south, but uh, I don't know if it was the food or whatever it was, but I got so sick, so I'm still actually sick right now as I'm narrating this video. And as I was playing this, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm playing mostly 100%, but you know, I'm still, and <laughs> still dealing with it. But going back to the character, guys, so now that I apologize to you guys, and I'll get more videos up for you guys. That's why I have been out for the last few days and nobody has seen me around. I've been sick. But um, in regards to our Batarian Vanguard, I really like this guy. I, I do not like the fact that they copied and pasted some of the powers like uh, Lash and even the Biotic Charge. I mean, when he when he charges, he, sound like, he sounds like the human Vanguard, which doesn't make any sense to me. But his power synergy between Biotic Charge and the Heavy Melee is exactly what I expected. When I saw him the first time on my previous video of Unlocking Retaliation, I thought, man, this is going to be ridiculous. He's going to do a Biotic Charge, stagger enemies, and do a Heavy Melee. And guess what? As you guys are noticing here, I am doing that over and over and over and over and over. Now, on Platinum, you're, you're, you're definitely going to not want to do that for boss enemies unless they're at their last little bit of life. But every other enemy, every low level, charge at heavy melee, as you see that I'm doing here. And for enemies, and this is why, uh, also, by the way, guys, that's this is also why I asked you guys to, you, you guys are going to want to put um, weapon synergy on your biotic charge. Because if you notice, there are times that I do my charge heavy melee, and I most of the times I do get to finish the enemy, but the times that I don't get to finish the enemy, I gotta shoot. So at the moment after you do a charge, you do your heavy melee, it didn't kill the enemy. If you shoot, you got plus 25% damage, uh, weapon damage bonuses. So it actually does very well. Now, for you gold players that are out there, guys, over here you see that I'm kind of raping it with this, this whole charge and melee build. Guess what? I played this on gold. And if you think it does, if you think this gameplay shows it very well, that I am actually killing phantoms and, and killing dragoons. I mean, look at this. Charge, heavy melee, punch to the face. Another one, charge, heavy melee, punch to the face. I mean, it's just, if you think I'm killing it here on platinum, 
Guys, you, try this on gold. I was almost unstoppable. I played against Cerberus, and it was ridiculous. I was just killing every Phantom, every Dragoon. It, it, just one shot. Charge and one heavy melee. Charge and heavy melee. Now, I did have one part in this game that I got insta-killed, and I left it in, guys. Uh, not that I ever edit that, but I, what I mean is that I didn't redo this game because I wanted you guys to see something. Uh, to get this kind of synergy, you, you have to make sure that you're doing certain things right. One is that you're using your biotic charge, and when you do your heavy melee, that you sync it up almost, almost at the same time. So this is this is what I do. I use biotic charge. I hit the enemy, and after I see that my character is already charging, I immediately hold down the heavy melee button. So as soon as the heavy the the, the biotic charge finishes. Um, he already starts doing his heavy melee as soon as it ends. Now, I've tried it before where you're doing charge and heavy melee at the same time, and sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes the melee just, you know, doesn't work out. And that's what happened here. I got insta-killed on one point, and it's not now. It happens later on, I think, I don't know, wave seven or something like that but i wanted to leave it on so you guys could see you know what happened there and to be careful of that when you play your games okay especially when it comes to phantoms for whatever reason sometimes phantoms seem to cheat the game um and they'll do sync kills on you when they shouldn't when they should be staggered i've had phantoms where I, i've done a, a charge on them and they're supposed to be staggered but they're not and, and that's not and i'm talking about when they don't have their you know blue ball of death protection all, all over them but anyways guys so far, what I gotta say is that this guy is exactly what I expected him to be, um, except for the lash ability. I don't see any sense to use lash on him. I really don't. I mean, especially if you're an aggressive player like me, you know, I'm gonna be charging and doing heavy melees everywhere, and you guys will see that. Now, for the boss enemies, you're not gonna want to do that. Um, you're gonna want to just use your weapons. And again, guys, I, I I recommend a lot of shotguns with this guy. I'm using the Harrier because. And by the way, not just the Harry, I'm also adding, uh, if you notice, I have the blade attachment. Now, with um, with the Harrier, um, I'm able to shoot across long distances. That That's why I chose it um, to play on a, you know, on this map and in, in a Platinum gameplay, because I wanted to make sure if I'm across the way, I needed to take some cover. I can still get some long-range shots. And you can still do that with the shotguns also. Um, I just prefer the uh, the Cerberus at this point in time, you know, for him, for this gameplay. But I definitely recommend the shotguns. The Wraith, by the way, guys, I would say is one of the best shotguns for him. Um, uh, and so is the uh, the Raider is good. The only thing that the Raider does not go long distances. So, you know, that's if, if, if you're going to play on gold, then definitely take the Raider because you're going to be up close and personal. The... Um, the Riga Carbine is also very good, a little heavy, but it's also very, very good. And you're not going to need a lot of, uh, you're not going to need a lot of power recharge with this guy because um, even though I do have my power recharge uh, consumable on him, that's because I want to make sure my charge and melee synergy are, are, you know, are happening really, really fast. But you know, if you're just charging and doing heavy melees like I am, I mean, you, you're not even depending on lash at all. You know, if you use a heavy shotgun like the Rieger, you should be okay. Um, I definitely recommend other shotguns like the the Wraith and, and the Raider. But anyways, going, going back to this guy, um, you know, again, he was exactly what I expected. You know, I, I this is exactly the way I expected to play him. Um, the first time I saw him on Unlock of Retaliation, I just thought, okay, so he's going to charge and melee, charge and melee. And, you know, by doing this setup, guys, if you, as, as you noticed, I mean, he's just, I can tear down through enemies so quickly. Look at this engineer. I mean, it's just, I, I think the video speaks for itself, in all honesty. And um, this gameplay, you know, it took a little long because I actually wanted to... Um, you know, j just go around. I was even telling the guys, I'm going to go after all the lower tiers so I can show you guys how good he is. You know, I, I mean, I did go after Atlases and all these other a enemies, but I wanted you guys to see the synergy that he has between charge and, and heavy melee. Now, I have all his bonuses set up, guys, for this. So, I mean, this is, this to me is the best way to use him. I mean, I'm give showing you guys platinum gameplay and even on platinum he can this build works and i believe that this build works also for gold because i've tested it and um and it does it does actually quite quite very well i was actually more impressed uh, um you know I, I i didn't expect 
the build to work that great either. I play with randoms uh, before this game on goal with this guy, and I mean, I was outscoring, you know, Turian Ghosts um, by 30,000 points. It was just crazy. Um, but the thing is that I noticed that when you get melee kills, a lot of people for that. And they happen so quickly, especially on gold, because you're doing a charge and heavy melee with the way I have them set up right now. I mean, it's just literally a charge and heavy melee done. The phantoms on gold, charge, heavy melee, that's it. Just just charge and heavy melee, and that's it. <laughs> They're done. So uh, on, on here, platinum, you notice that it might take me a, another shot, you know, for, for phantom. It, it, you know, it might take maybe a charge, a heavy melee, and a, you know, a bullet to the face or another heavy melee. But really on gold, it's just charge and heavy melee. So, you know, you guys can try that and test it, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, and it works. And it's very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. But anyways, um, that's that. And guys, by the way, I know today is Halloween. Um, it took me a little bit to get this video out to you guys because, again, I am sick. <laughs> All right? I am not feeling that great. Matter of fact, you might even hear it in my voice. And, um, and you know, in all honesty, um, my gameplay here is, I think, is up to par. I think I'm doing very, very well. But I think I can still do a lot better. I mean, this game took, I think, 26 minutes. We probably could have done it in 22, you know, 24 or whatever. But, um, but anyways, and that happens because, you know, I got insta-killed this one wave. But I, I, I wanted you guys to see that. Because I wanted you guys to see what happens here sometimes with this game. So, um, make sure, you know, sometimes... Did you, did you guys see that? She the 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 phantom actually went through my charge, which is just amazing. I just don't understand sometimes. The game just glitches out on you like that, um, and it's just you got to be careful of those kind of things, especially with phantoms. Um, you also got to be careful, guys, when using a vanguard with the smoke. Look at it here. I had a whole bunch of smoke. I could not. I was about to charge. I could not find anything to charge, and then by the time I did find something to charge, boom! I got insta killed. So this is what happens, guys. Sometimes, and you know, you got to be very careful with a Vanguard character um, when it comes to smoke because y you won't be able to lock on. You know, I mean, this is obvious for all you guys. You guys know this, but just be very careful with that kind of situation. But I wanted to leave this, and so you guys see what happens here and there. Now, that was the only time I, you know, anything like that happens in this whole gameplay. But um, we do very, very well. And even besides me getting insta killed, guys. Um, I am still able to take, uh, well, this this one wave, I'm still able to take this character and somehow still do so much damage to be able to rank back up um, on the scoreboard. Um, and and uh, that's nothing to say on, on the players. Everybody who I play with is, is very, very good, guys. Emo's excellent, Senile's excellent. And by the way, Nao is a new guy who, um, you know, sent me a message from YouTube. So as you guys know, um, I, you know, I like to challenge myself, number one. Uh, all my gameplay is platinum. Um, that's why it might take me a little bit longer to get a gameplay out to you guys because I want to make sure I give you, you know, YouTube video quality videos where we're, you know, we're doing our best to work hard and and do the best that we can um, and and get a good gameplay out there. You know, we'll work hard until everybody gets really, really good. Sometimes I'll play like two or three games just to get the right footage because I want to make sure that it's not just me but the entire team is playing well kind of like the um the the video with the all adepts against collectors guys i did that video it took us um i think four to five tries because i wanted to make sure number one we got full extraction number two you know we were doing everything you know appropriately and um it took us quite a few tries because i wanted to make sure that we did it you know we did it right i'm showing you guys what to do um and you guys are seeing something amazing. So that, that if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Um, and that's why you know I enjoy doing what I do because I like to do it a little bit more hardcore. And I believe if I'm doing it on platinum, it should definitely help you out on gold because this is the hardest difficulty. So if I can do this on platinum, you guys can do it on gold. You guys can do it on silver and bronze. So guys, I'm not exclusive to platinum at all. I just like to do only platinum gameplay to show you guys how a character can handle all different factions. So this one way I am showing you how this character is handling uh, phantoms, how he's handling dragoons, how this character is handling primes, how he's handling banshees, you know, it's, it's, 
you know, there's all these different enemies that are coming at me, and uh, if you just play gold and you're playing against the Geth, well, guess what? Here's some examples. I'm, you know, I'm fighting some, um, uh, you know, I'm, fi I'm fighting some, um, some Geth bombers, or I'm fighting some hunters, you know, and and if you just like playing reapers, well, guess what? I'm fighting some banshees and <laughs> you know some brutes, and so that's why I like to do platinum gameplay. Number one, it's 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 much more difficult. Um, I think it takes it it takes a lot more to be able to do more uh, platinum gameplay uh, than just doing the gold. Gold right now, when we play gold, guys, and this is not being elitist or anything like that. When we play gold, it, it's just so easy for us. I mean, I'm it, it's just too easy, and I I feel like I'll be copying out. It's showing you guys gold gameplay only because, well, it's it's pretty easy for us, and I want to show you guys, you know, something more challenging. So like that, you can get the most out of it, because if I'm able to use this character versus all different factions, I believe that you you know you get the most out of it. And you can use it in all your other gameplays. All right, so I just got picked up here. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, this was great. And as you can see, uh, some of the other players are using different weapons, you know, like the particle rifle. Um, the uh, the piranha. The piranha works very good with characters like this. And I definitely recommend, you know, I definitely recommend them. Now, um, in regards to today, uh, it being Halloween, I, I definitely I took out time to actually work on the Halloween banner. Uh, if you guys didn't know this, you know there's a, they had Hall Halloween challenges today, and um, if you get the banner, you know you get like this this Halloween challenge banner behind, you know that that shows up on the lobby. Now, I don't know if that expires. I hope not. But by the way, I just want to say Happy Halloween to all of you guys that do celebrate it. Um, I hope that all you guys have having a great time with your families and getting some good candy out there, trick or treating, and leave me some candy, all right, if you can. Um, or if not, if you guys just you know hanging at home watching my videos, that's a good too. You know, just watch my videos, you know, like them all, suggest them to your friends, recommend them. That, that, that I think that's a great way to spend your Halloween, don't you think, guys? <laughs> but anyways, or, or or maybe you guys could do that just out of being nice, due to the fact that I've been sick you know all these days and you know you guys might might just want to watch my videos and like them and subscribe and recommend them to others but anyways or you could just enjoy the fact that I am here being a true Batarian brawler because guys he really is the Batarian brawler I mean he charges melee I mean this is this is just brutal look at this phantom bam to the face it's just I mean forget it look at pyro okay dragoon just Oh, it's just nasty. It's just, he's just absolutely insane. I mean, I, I don't even know what to tell you guys. I definitely recommend this build. Don't try to use Lash, guys. Forget about Lash. It's just not even necessary. You know, when I saw Lash there, I was thinking, okay, well, maybe what Bioware was thinking, he used Lash to pull the enemy in. And then use charge or do a light melee or something, but that's just stupid because Lash, when you pull in an enemy, uh, the enemy ragdolls to the floor, okay? So if the enemy is ragdolled to the ground, you can't really do a heavy melee on them. You could do like a light melee, you could shoot them to, uh, on the ground, but you know, that's not really being a Batarian Brawler. You know, Batarian Brawler means that he's punching the crap out of everything, you know? So. I, to me, this is this is the Batarian Brawler build. This is the way he should be set up. And um, I have tried him out on lower tiers already. Truly demolish and destroy those lower levels with him. So, I mean, this is just the way to go, guys. Um, now, uh, on another topic, guys. Uh, you know, one thing that I did notice uh, coming back. I, I, don't, I really don't understand what's going on or, or what is the deal, but... There were a lot of comments on some of my other videos. Um, I don't know what's going on, but it seems like people are... Uh, I don't think it's myself, but I, I, I don't know. There are people talking about um, comparing my videos to other commentators' videos. I want to tell you guys that, number one, first of all, I, I, I do not restrict anybody from watching anybody. Actually, one of my, um, and I will say this, one of my favorite commentators is XCal, and I will watch some of his videos from time to time, and that, that's about it. Um, I'll watch his videos for, like, some Mass Effect stuff, just to compare notes. But even then, it's like I rarely get to watch all the commentators' videos because I'm too busy doing a lot of my stuff. But uh, I came back after being sick, and then I just noticed all these comments uh, in regards to another commentator's videos. Who uh, it seems like 
I don't know if they're copying my gameplay or I don't know what it is, but anyways, guys, you know, uh, um, I do not have any quarrel or anything with any other commentators, so I don't know what's going on, but um, I hope that you guys enjoy what I'm doing here, and that's about it. That's about all I can say to that, because this just it just confused the crap out of me going back after being sick, after being out on vacation for a few days, and then just seeing a whole mess of comments, and I... I don't know. I don't get it. But anyways, guys. Oh, you saw that? That's some crazy stuff. Look at that. The Phantom almost had me, right? And then she just... It's just so stupid. I don't know. The Phantoms and their sink kills. Sometimes they just bug out. But anyways, guys. You know, I hope you guys enjoy what I do. Um, sorry that I was out for a few days. But, you know, I do my best to show you guys the best of the best. Um, on Platinum only gameplay. I mean, I think I have some gold gameplay, guys. I have gold duos and you know etc you know and all that now I, I will say this though if you guys ever want to play with me uh on a competitive note uh if you guys want to do like a platinum duo with me or whatever just to kind of you know you want to you you want to show yourself not necessarily compete with me but you want to show how great you are you know definitely send you know let me know i want to do a platinum duo with you invader you know i want to show how great i am you know i can i can handle it you know and i'll do a platinum duo with you you know we'll, we'll just you know rock collectors platinum duo or something like that you know and it'll work out really really nice and um or if you just want to, you know, play a regular game with me, just send me a message. Um, I, it's very hard for me to accept any friend requests. My, I, I get about 15 new messages a day to, to play, you know, to for people who want to play with me on Mass Effect. And that's actually a great thing. I like that. You know, I don't mind. I, I don't mind it. And guys, as you noticed, I mean, Neo, right, who's playing with us right now, he's totally new. I mean, like, uh, not totally new to the game, but somebody who I just said, okay, he's online. I'm going to play with him. I'm going to pick him up. So, and, and this is why I do it, guys. Number one, playing Platinum for the challenge. Number two, I'm using a brand new character, you know, who I'm testing out. Number three, I'm bringing on somebody new along just so I could continue testing, you know, different gameplay styles and how I can, you know, how, how I can handle it and t just test myself continuously that way. And I do play with randoms. Now, I did promise you guys that I will bring some platinum gameplay with, you know, people who I don't know. So I will do that. Now that I'm back, I'm feeling a little better. I'm still... I'm still I'm still not that great, but feeling a little better. I will do my best to bring that kind of gameplay out to you guys. So I did it once before um, one day that I just played with randoms on platinum, and it was it was a little scary. I mean, it it was a little scary. Some people tried a missile glitch, uh, and a few of the other guys were just I don't know what they were doing. But anyways, it was just it was out of control, and I had to clutch like most of the waves. It was just crazy. But I will definitely do that because, you know, some of you guys want to know how to play in a situation where you kind of can't fully depend on your teammates. So it's one of those situations where you may not have a mic or you don't know each other. And you got to play like a team but not at the same time. I would like to do a video like that so you guys can get an idea how to do that on Platinum. Okay. Um, and we'll definitely do that. So you guys can see that um, I, I play with randoms a lot on gold. And again, if you guys do see me on uh, on gold, just say hi. You know, send me a message or something. And if I'm in a party chat, you notice that I don't respond. I may be in a party chat. Um, don't get offended. Just send me an, a quick message. Say hi. Would like to you know would like to chat or whatever. And I'll just switch over. No big deal. Um, you know, I'm not that guy who will just ignore you. Um, I I actually enjoy playing with new people and all. So it's no big deal. But anyways, guys, um, you know, this is the Batarian Brawler. He's pretty badass. I brought the entire Batarian team here for Halloween. Uh, as you guys notice, we have the Halloween challenges. And if you get a hack, there's a little pumpkin in the center. You, you know, that kind of thing. So it's, just, it's actually pretty cool to see. And it was actually a lot of fun. Um, so, you know, this Halloween was actually really cool. Um, a, a cool little something that Bioware did, and I hope they continue. Uh, they continuously do things like that. Like maybe for Thanksgiving, have like a turkey or something, and for Christmas, I don't know. I don't know. Have a Christmas tree or whatever, you know, that you have to defend or switch up on. So, um, so yeah, back to the Batarian Brawler for all lower tier enemies, uh, especially Phantoms, guys. I mean, she's supposedly a boss enemy, but not for this guy. He is the boss of her. Um, but for all, you know, boss enemies, you know, you, you kind of 
you know want to use your weapons on them you want to charge only when you need to you know refill your shields um, and you got to be careful how you do it um, but every other enemy guys just do a charge on a heavy melee you would totally destroy them I mean uh, everybody 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 it even, it even the boss enemies the only thing is that you got to be very careful how you do it and um, that's obvious advice of course I, I love giving obvious advice <laughs> so guys this is the Batarian Brawler and um, if you don't have the Harrier guys um, the other assault rifles that work for him um, they, they pretty you know they pretty much are all good for him the only thing is I recommend that you put some kind of melee stunner if you have the pistol um, on the assault rifle actually have the blade I, I recommend putting everything that you have that gives you any kind of melee damage bonus because as you can see here guys it just works so great and if I'm doing this on platinum guys I'm just tearing up phantoms I'm tearing up pyros I am tearing up dragoons with a charge and melee combo then you know <laughs> It's just you'll be an absolute beast on gold and silver and bronze, guys. All right. So I, you know, I hope that you can see that. And then with you know his his uh his weapon synergies, you notice if you don't get to finish off an enemy. Now, mind you, this is platinum, guys. The same enemy on gold, okay, would have been destroyed just by the heavy melee. So it would have been charged heavy melee done. Okay. But here in platinum, this is why you need the weapon synergy on the biotic charge. So like that. The character's not killed, but now, due to the fact that I just did a, a biotic charge, for those, uh, I believe it's 8 seconds or 6 seconds, I get plus 25% that weapon damage bonus. So that allows me to use my Harrier or my shotgun or whatever gun I have, and it gives it a weapon damage bonus, and I can clean up the enemy and tear them up. So, guys, I gotta be honest with you, I had a lot of fun with this character. Um, he is pretty much exactly what I expected of him, and I'm, I'm happy about that. The only thing I am not happy about is um, his Lash power. It makes no sense to me. Lash, I mean, it's good power, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's just not for him. It just did not make any sense to me. I just, I really wish they would have put grenades or something, or I, I don't know, something else, something that wasn't this. But, I mean, so far overall, besides that, he is just, he, he truly is a brawler, guys. And um, I hope that on this Halloween, you guys have been able to use him, rock him out, have a lot of fun with him. And, um, and that's about it, guys. You know, that's all about all I can say. And uh, once I get a little better, I will be bringing out more videos and continuing the hardcore series, guys. And what I have for you guys next is a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, this is Invader1. I hope you enjoyed this. The Batarian Brawler, the Bro Guard. And please rate, comment, and subscribe as it helps.